Just look at it. Are you kidding me? It's freaking beautiful. What's going on guys, Crypto Fiend here with another video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Bitrix, all of its neat features and pretty much everything in between for Bitrix. Before we get into the video I just want to say thank you to 200 subscribers, completely blew my expectations away, um, I did not expect anything like that to happen, uh, we did our 100 subscriber giveaway yesterday and we're already at 200, completely awesome. We're finally starting that community that we all want. And also, keep leaving those comments below with questions, your personal opinions. There's no bias on this channel. We're all helping each other out. That's what it's all about. And also, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy giving his own opinion. So now that we got, got all of that out of the way, let's get into the video. So this is the Bitrix Exchange. Now, if you guys don't know what the Bitrix Exchange is, it's pretty much one of the main used exchanges for the crypto world to purchase many, many alternative coins. This is the home page. I'm already logged in, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create an account, fill out the basic information, and then you will get to this page here. You also do have to fill out a basic verification and an enhanced verification. That's pretty much just sending uh, Bitrix a picture of the front and back of your ID card and a picture of your face just for verification and for security purposes. Um, other than that, this is what you're going to see. Now, what I really like about the home page of this website is they have this bar here. And what this bar shows, it shows the top volume coins and the biggest percent gainer coins. And why this is so, so useful is because if you're a day trader and you want to make those fast, fast profits, this is what you're going to want to look at. You're going to want to look at those uh, coins that have those crazy percent gains where you can double your money in a day. This is what you're going to want to look at is what I really like about this exchange because not many exchanges have this. Now if we scroll down, you can see the Bitcoin market. So this is pretty much all the alternative coins that you can purchase with Bitcoin on the Bitrix exchange. They have five pages. So they have a shit ton of altcoins that you can buy on this exchange, which is why it's probably the most used exchange out of all the exchanges. Also, they have the Ethereum market and the USDT market. Um, if we go up to this tab up here, it's the Bitcoin, uh, the Bitcoin um, exchange. And if you see here, you can you have like a little list of different altcoins, but you can also change it to like the name, the percentage, the last price, stuff like that. And if you wanted to type in a specific altcoin, you would type in the market name for it. So we're going to look at Vertcoin for today because Vertcoin is the coin that everyone's been talking about lately. Especially me. I love Vertcoin. And this is what you're going to get. You're going to see Vertcoin. It's going to have the big logo here so you know you're investing in the, to the right cryptocurrency. You're purchasing the right cryptocurrency. And also you're going to see this big, this beautiful graph. Now what I really like about this graph is it's simple. It's not all fancy and schmancy numbers everywhere uh, it's just simple and also up here you can change each candlestick to be a different time so you can change it to a one week so each candlestick is equal to one week so as you can see for this week of December Vertcoin is in the green um, so we're gonna keep it on the 30 minute for now but also you have tools so you can actually draw onto the actual graph so if you want to draw Fibonacci you can draw directly onto the graph as well as studies. Now studies are kind of like tools as well, but um, I think I'm gonna do a video on the future of how to use each study and what its purpose is. And if you guys understand the tools and the studies and how to use them, you can have a great, great advantage on the market in predicting future breakouts, future dumps, pretty much you can predict where the market is going to go, which is absolutely huge in the crypto world and in the stock market in general. That's where all of this comes from is the stock market but we're talking about cryptos because the, fuck the stock market this is what's up uh, also you can change uh, to a light version and a dark version so if you don't like the dark you could change it to white and you can really change it to any color you want if you want it purple you could do purple they also have a share tab so you could share the chart to your friends and family show them that you're investing into cryptocurrencies um, on the side here you can see that there's a last price which is $8.32. There's the volume, three over 3,000 Bitcoin in volume. The bidding price, which is $8.30. The asking price, which is $8.32. 
and the 24 hour high which is 928 freaking awesome 24 hour low which is 762 and so on and so forth uh, down here this is where you're going to see the buy and sell section this is where you're going to buy and sell your altcoins so on this side you have the buy uh, if you wanted say you wanted to buy at the asking price of vert coin pretty much what people are asking for it uh, you would press the ask the bidding price or the last price that it was sold at if you want the fastest transaction you're going to want to do the ask that's going to make your you're going to buy vert coin instantly or any other altcoin also if you want to buy the max amount of coins that you can purchase with your Bitcoin, you would press the max button and it would purchase the max amount you can buy. Um, a great, great feature that I love about Bitrix that not many exchanges have. I don't really know any exchanges that have it. I know Binance does not have it. That's why Bitrix has a huge advantage on those is that they have a buy stop limit and a sell stop limit. So pretty much what that means is if you buy Vertcoin at, if you want to buy Vertcoin at say six dollars and it's currently at seven dollars you don't want to sit on your computer all day waiting for it to go down to seven or six dollars and lose your opportunity so what you can do is you can set a buy order at six dollars set it and you can walk away from your computer you can go take a dump you can go hang out with your girlfriend you can go do whatever you want you can go to work and you can log out of your account and when vertcoin hits that six dollar mark you will automatically purchase Vertcoin. And if it goes below $6, you will purchase it as well. So anything below $6, you will purchase Vertcoin instantly, which is awesome because you don't have to sit at your computer all day and be a freaking crypto nerd. I mean, we're all crypto nerds, but we don't want to have to sit at our computer all freaking day. We need to go get some sunlight. Um, same thing with the sell side. You have the max amount that you can sell, the ask, the bid, and the last. So if you want to get the most amount of money you possibly can for your vert coin, you're going to press the ask and you're going to press the max if you want to sell all of it or you can type in how much you want to sell. And the same thing with the sell side. Now there's a little difference with the sell side because you can either do it lower or higher of the current value of the coin. So say vert coin was at $7. You could set a sell order for six dollars so in case Vertcoin has a huge dump and it drops down to two dollars you instantly sell at six dollars so you don't lose all your money which is a great feature it prevents a lot of people from losing a lot of money that way that's what I really like about this um, also say you have you buy Vertcoin at you want to buy or I'm sorry you want to sell Vertcoin at ten dollars but it's currently at seven dollars you can set it so that you can set the sell order to $10, so once Vertcoin hits $10 exactly, you will instantly sell all your cryptocurrencies, so you don't have to be sitting on your computer all day, and you can, you can go have a life pretty much, which is a great, great feature that I love about this exchange. This is pretty much, that's prob probably the best feature on this exchange in general. Down here, you have your order history, which is kind of useless. You have your open orders. This is going to show... Um, this is going to show where all your current uh, orders are for uh, the coin you just purchased. Down here you have your market history pretty much showing how many people are buying or selling at the time. Now this could be useful because you can tell if more people are buying or selling. If more people are buying, the price is most likely going to go up. If more people are selling, it's probably going to go down, which is a little cool feature to see. Uh, my order history, so this is all my order history for Vertcoin, all my uh, purchases and sell orders um, so if we go to the top and we go and the USD tab is the exact same thing it's just the tether version which like I said it's a coin that's pretty much backed up by the US dollar so it stays around the dollar range in value um, so if you are afraid of like that crazy volatility that's not a bad idea if you want to put all your money into tether so the money the value doesn't change you could do that or just put in bitcoin because bitcoin is going to be going up in the future um, right here you have the orders tab now the orders tab is going to show your open orders which is if you have any orders that are currently processing and it's going to show your completed orders so as you can see i have a shit ton of completed orders from the past you see i bought i could i purchased and sold lisk i bought vertcoin sold vertcoin yada 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 
Uh, so if you go up to the wallets tab, now this is where you're going to store all your cryptocurrencies. Um, usually it looks like this, where it shows a bunch of zeros for coins that you don't have. If you click on the hide zero balances, it just shows the coins that you per uh, currently have. As you can see, I most have mostly have, I have all my money in Vertcoin right now. Um, not all my money, but on this exchange, I just have Vertcoin. Um, like I said, dollar cost average is very important. Um, but yes, so it's going to show what coins you have. It's going to show the available balance, the pending balance, the total, yada, yada, yada. Over here at the plus or minus tab, uh, when you press the minus, that means you're going to be subtracting Vertcoin from Bittrex, sending it somewhere. So minus means taking Vertcoin off of Bittrex, plus means adding Vertcoin to Bittrex. So minus. You can put the address from your other wallet or the other exchange that you're sending the vert coin to, and then you would put the amount you want to send, or you can press the blue button and send all of it. It does charge you a little fee, but what exchange doesn't charge you a fee nowadays? And then you would press withdraw. Now make sure your address is correct, because if it's not, then you lose everything forever, which would suck. Same thing with the uh, plus button, but in this case, you're going to copy this address, put it in the wallet or exchange that um, you're sending Vertcoin from to Bittrex and same thing you just send it to Bittrex and then your Vertcoin would come here um, and down here you would see let me scroll down so my webcams out of the way right down here you would see the pending deposits so if you had Vertcoin sent here it takes like 10 minutes to fully transact because it's like a two confirmation process where they have to confirm it and shit and same thing with pending withdrawals. So if you send something, it takes a couple minutes to send as well. So don't get discouraged thinking you lost your money. It just takes time. Nothing's fast and instant like that. Down here, you have your withdrawal history and your deposit history as well. Um, in settings, settings is just going to be you know, your basic thing. It's going to have the basic verification, the enhanced verification. Uh, password two factor authenticator pr pretty much all the security features and stuff like that so um, That really is the whole exchange. It's really rather simple, which I really like we don't need all that fancy sh Exchanges with all the crazy numbers and graphs all over the place. It's just it's not useful um, so to recap great features about Bitrix is they have many many alternative coins that many other exchanges don't have they have the most alternative coins than any other exchange so if you're looking for a specific altcoin that isn't on Binance it's most likely on Bittrex also they have this awesome tab where it shows you the biggest percent gainers biggest top volume for those daily um, daily investors daily traders out there that want to get those fast profits as well as the buy buy stop orders and the sell stop loss orders which is a huge advantage of this exchange so that is going to be the video for today. I hope you guys appreciated it. I will leave a link below to sign up to Bitrix as well as Binance if you want to check out that video as well for any reason. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to mash that freaking like button and the subscribe button. And I will catch you guys in the next video.